This video will show you how to wire your thermostats and zone pumps or valves. Verify that you have the following components. ZON0550 zone control, THM0300 thermostats, and Thermalink's Wi-Fi module. To begin wiring, make sure you power off your HVAC system, and only suitable individuals with formal training in electrical and hydronic controls should attempt the installation of this equipment. All signal wiring must be a minimum of 18 gauge wire at a maximum of 500 feet. Zone outputs. These are the outputs for the zone device. This can be a pump or a valve, depending on what power is supplied to terminals 11 and 12. System pump output. This is a dry contact output that can be used for a system pump. This contact will activate any time a zone comes on. Input power. This input is to power the ZON0550. 0.5 amps at 120 volts AC is required to power this device. Zone power. This input is used to power the zone outputs and is rated for 240, 120, or 24 volts AC. Demand outputs. These are the outputs for the demands. These can be a heating and cooling demand, 24 volt contact, dry contact, TT low temp demand for a boiler, or domestic hot water high temp demand. Fan coil output. These are the outputs for the fan coil demands. These can be a heating, cooling, or fan demand. Thermostat inputs. These terminals are used for power and communication for thermostat inputs. Only the THM0300 thermostats can be used for this system. Wiring polarity is important. Connect the THM0300 thermostat to the control. If you are using a single thermostat, ensure that it is connected to THM1 on the control. Match the numbers on the THM0300 pin connectors to the numbers on the ZON0550 control. Now you are ready to pair multiple zone controls.